Hello, hello, how's everybody doing today? My name is Nanook52, and today I'm going to be doing an update slash answering a question that a lot of people are probably figuring out when it comes to the new operating system of Windows 10. See, if you have an NVIDIA card, chances are, and if you have an old one, or rather, uh, some, some between mid, between old. Anyways, if you have a specific card and you cannot upgrade to Windows 10, well, you can actually. But um, when you do upgrade, you get your uh, graphics card replaced by this thing called Microsoft Dis Basic Display Dra Driver. Blech, excuse me, sorry, I'm thinking about something else. I'm gonna explain to you basically as fast as I can and as quickly as I can, why in the world can't you update your newest card? Because the Windows 10 support actually supports any, almost any hardware that you give it, but Nvidia for the Windows 10 driver only upgrades I mean updates your stuff from anything higher than a GeForce GTX 650 therefore if you have anything lower than a GeForce GTX 6 fucking 50 <laughs> you um you're basically cut off from having any more updates so whatever update you have for it is your final update and if you have Windows 10 chances are you're not gonna get an update at all for having your car being compatible. However, do not fret. That does not exactly mean you should panic. You have three options at this point, or four, but anyways, if you're NVIDIA, the fourth one's not really an option. Or whatever option number it is. Number one, upgrade your graphics card. If you have a 650, or rather in my case, 640, you're gonna have to upgrade it. It's simp as simple as that. Number two, downgrade to Windows 7. What this do is that it will fully let you use your graphics card before you upgrade to 10 or 8 or whatever it was. I'm not sure if 8 works still. But downgrading your system would let you still use the flat final last driver that you use. Or number 3, switch to an AMD card. But if you have a card older than, I think, Radeon 4000, I'm not sure, you still have the same problem. But there is a fourth option for, I think, both cards, AMD and or NVIDIA. And it's to get your thing to work and actually show up. Now, usually when you've upgraded to Windows 10, you will not see G4 6640 or whatever you have. You will see Microsoft Basic Display Driver. Now, how in the world did I get my graphics card to work? I am going to show you. It is a quickly, simple thing that will save you some time. And for people that want Windows 10 to still work, it will save you time. It will buy you some time, basically. It works fine, but it's not really something you want to do each and every time. Basically, what I do is I go to the device manager in Windows 10, and every time my computer starts up from restarting and or shut down, I uninstall my graphics card. I'm not going to do that because I already did it. Now, what that does is it basically takes all the drivers and all the stuff from the Microsoft basic display driver, and you no longer have a graphics card. Then I restart my computer. When you restart your computer, you will see your screen as a lower resolution it's supposed to be. Don't freak out, just wait. And your driver, I mean your graphics card will kick in. Next thing you know, your car will be working. Now, this only works for a limited time. It will let you do whatever you want that you've been doing before Windows 10 or Nvidia decided not to update your thing, but here's the, here's the uh, catch to it. If you restart your computer again, it will install the Microsoft Basic Display Driver. Now, the only way to do that is if you want to restart your computer or just turn it off altogether. The right way is un uninstall your card every time you want to turn it off. What this would do is the same method every time. I'm just going to call it the rollback method. I'm not sure what it's really called. All it does is rollbacks to first state drivers good enough for you to be able to use your car. However, if you're fearing, experience any problems in gaming there's, or whatever software that you're using, usually it's gaming, you're going to probably see slight problems. Only, I had a few problems when running Central 3 on Ultra, a few flashes, but that was about it. Nothing really huge, but that was it. Nothing crazy. It still worked just the way it was before and slightly better with Windows 10. So, if you have a older card, they're going to replace it with Microsoft Basic Display Driver. To fix this, uninstall your card reinstall it by just restarting your computer you don't have to take it out of the case your real actual graphics card because some that's just silly but I did that the first time so now I'm telling you on when you do not do this you will have not only a decrease in graphics memory but you will have zero dedicated video memory and you can't do anything so 
that is what I'm doing. So this was able to save me from switching down to Windows 7. I actually have no problem with Windows 10 except for this actual problem, really. And I've been through so much hell trying to get Windows 10 to actually work on my computer. I don't feel like downgrading, so I needed another option. I started playing around, see what I can do, and this is the solution I found. It works just great for the time being until I'm able to actually buy a new car. So that's it for today, and I hope this works out for you too.